Hi, I'm Mark Kimball. Thanks for watching. This is e-biking on the Kimballism channel. Today's show is all about a problem I was having with my black bag and the solution I found to fix the issue. So let me first describe the problem I was having. When I first got on the bike and went for my first long ride, I found, I heard a rubbing noise and it turned out it was the black bag had flipped over on its side and was rubbing against the rear wheel. Now I had the Velcros, everything correct, but what I learned was the rack was narrow and the weight of the black bag was forcing it when I turn and tip the bike a little bit, it would flip the uh, black bag over. So I cut my ride short and got back home safe and sound. And then I thought of a solution to fix this issue. And it was a little kludgy, but I'll describe how I, I was able to get it to work. And then I'll talk about a much better solution. Okay, so the first thing I had to do was bungee cord these. So that helped stabilize it. And then you have your straps, like so, and then the Velcro, let's take those off. You can see already what a pain in the neck this is to get on and off. And not only that, yeah, I'm still, let's get this off. So there you go. And what I used was painter sticks and uh, plastic ties to secure it to the rack. So it gave it a little more stability so it wouldn't flip. And it's just, it's very kludgy. But you can see what a pain in the neck it is to get it on and off like that. And not only that, but the straps have started to wear out. So this bag doesn't have much longer to live if I didn't come up with another solution. So now I'll show you the MIK system and how much better this is gonna be. So. This is the MIK system. At first, I didn't know what the heck it was. I saw it on Fuel's accessory site and I wanted to learn more. It turns out to be a pretty cool product. This is its base unit. This goes on the rack. This is the adapter that can go on my black bag or a milk crate or anything you can think of. Um, these two are sold separately. This I got from Fuel and this I got from Amazon. And it works pretty simple. You just slide it in like so, locks. The key will unlock it. There you go. Simple as that. So why don't we install it and see how well it works. And there you have it. Well, that was easy. Now that we have the adapter plate installed, the next step is to take the base unit and install that on the rack. Now, let's see how easy it is to get the bag on and off the bike. All right, now that we have the MIK system installed, we need to do one more thing. Snip, snip. We're gonna cut off all the Velcro straps on the bag, and then we're gonna go for a ride and give the system a good shakedown. I'm really happy the way the day turned out. Um, I really like the MIK system. I think it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Uh, it's gonna be easy to get the bag on and off and not have to deal with all those straps. I can stop in at a coffee shop or a restaurant and it's just gonna make my life so much easier. I'm really happy that I bought it. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this with my own money and this is an honest review of it. Um, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'd like to end my videos with a Kimballism. Everything will come as you may. Mark thinks this is better than build it and they will come.